Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we have some exclusive information for you guys about two new castings, but one big one especially. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this is a very exciting video because I got confirmation from sources with Inside Warner Brothers about two new castings that were just recently announced, and we know officially what characters they are going to be playing. And so the other day we got the announcement of those castings. So we had young Cat Grant, who's going to be played by Eliza Helm, aka CJ Grant is what she's going to be going by. But that's not what we found out because we already know Eliza is going to play Cat Grant. So also we got Claude Knowlton, that was a big thing the other day, who will be playing an alien ally. And he is described as a mild mannered alien whose tragic past allows him to help the super friends with their mission at hand. We actually have some information about who Claude is specifically playing, but then the big one, we've got Jason Bear. So he was just cast the other day, you guys will know him from Roswell, New Mexico, and so we were told he was going to be playing a Kryptonian. Well I can officially confirm and tell you that Jason will be playing none other than Kara zor father zor -El. This is exclusive news for the DC TV show, so hopefully you guys are freaking out about this because it's been confirmed by some sources within Side Warner Brothers that officially Jason Bear is going to be playing Zor-El in this season of Supergirl. I can also confirm that he will be first appearing in episode 2 of season 6. He's going to be playing a big part in that episode. However, it is likely he's probably going to get introduced at the end of episode 1 because what they normally do is they put a cliffhanger if they're going to introduce someone very important the episode before. So, yeah, Jason Bear is going to be playing Zor-El. So now, who is Claude Nelton playing? I can also confirm that Claude is going to be playing a character named Silas. So Silas was mentioned in one of the casting interviews that was released a while back, and we found out that he has a criminal background, and he's going to be an alien from another planet. We don't know specifically about his backstory that much, apart from that he was once a criminal, he used to work with this Rosemary character who is also going to be introduced in this season, and he will first appear in episode 2 as well, that has been confirmed by my Warner Brothers sources. So before we go into why Zorrell could be showing up and what Jason is going to be doing, here is a list of the confirmed characters that we're going to see in episode 1 and 2, obviously excluding the main team Supergirl members who are regulars. So episode 1, John Cryer is going to be showing up as Lex Luthor, Cara Bueno is going to be showing up as Gamine, sorry if I pronounce her name wrong, Brenda Strong is going to be showing up as Lillian Luthor, Andrea Brooks is going to be showing up as Eve Tessmacher, Sharon Liu is going to be showing up as McGann, Linda Boyd is going to be showing up as Evelyn Tessmacher, and Robert Baker is going to be showing up as Otis Graves. So I don't believe we've actually seen Evelyn Tessmacher before, but it's someone in relation to Eve. And so Linda Boyd is an actress you guys might know. She's appeared in Final Destination 2 and also the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. She's going to be showing up as a relation to Eve Tessmacher. Also, Robert Baker is going to be back in this episode as Otis Graves, obviously the brother to Mercy Graves, so he's appeared on Supergirl before they had a big arc at the start of Season 4 of Supergirl. He's going to be showing up in Episode 1. So, apart from that, John Cryer, Cara Bueno, Brenda Strong, Andrea Brooks, and Sharon Lil, we all knew were going to be showing up already, so that isn't really news. However, that is confirmation that they're going to be in this episode. And so let's move on to episode 2 and the confirmed list of characters and actors who are going to be showing up. So John Cryer is going to be showing up in episode 2 as Lex Luthor, Brenda Strong once again as Lillian Luthor, same with Andrea Brooks as Eve Tessmacher, Sharon Lil as McGann, and Claude Nelton is going to be showing up for the first time as Silas, and Robert Baker is going to be showing up again as Otis Graves, and Jason Bear is going to be showing up as Zor-El. So, the only differences between episode 1 and episode 2, Gamini is going to be gone, so Kara's not going to be showing up again. Also, Evelyn Tessmacher, played by Linda Boyd, isn't going to be showing up in this episode. Otis Graves is going to be in episode 1 and 2, that's been confirmed. Silas and zor are going to be showing up for the first time, so the big castings the other day, Jason Bear and Claude Knowlton, are going to be showing up for the first time in episode 2. So hopefully you guys like that kind of different sort of style to the video. Obviously we're going to go into theories now about what's going to be happening with Zor-El. 
but please be sure to share this information around on social media. Obviously, it's very big that we have the official confirmation that Jason is going to be playing zor -El. So we want to spread the word around. Okay, so theory time. All of our theories about zor -El showing up turns out to be true. He is 100% coming to Supergirl Season 6. And if you guys don't remember, zor -El has actually shown up on the show. He was in that episode where Kara went into her mind. And she thought she was on Krypton. And so you saw zor -El, You saw Allura and Kara's home on Krypton. And Alex had to come in and save her. So I don't know the actor's name. However, it was a different person. And now with Jason Bear being cast as zor -El, this is a recast and Supergirl is not a stranger to recasting because they've recast Kara's parents before in that Laura Benanti who played Kara's mum Allura for the first few seasons was recast when she couldn't come back and you had Erica Durant showing up as the new version of Allura and so she's shown up a couple of times since then and it's been proven that it works so the CW aren't shy to recasting, so now they've officially recast Zorel to make him have a bigger role in the show. I'm not sure if it was because of scheduling issues or they just wanted a new version of Zorel. But nevertheless, Jason is going to be showing up as Kara's father. And it's very exciting that our theories have all been confirmed that Zorel is 100% showing up. And so this is a big step because Zorel is going to be playing a major part in the season. And so there are a few questions we have to ask. Number one, is this an alternate version of Zorel, and how has he survived? That's a huge question because all this time we've presumed that he's been dead due to Allura only showing up on Argo, and he wasn't there. And I'm pretty sure they confirmed that he died due to Krypton's explosion. He wasn't able to escape Krypton unlike Kara and Allura. So this is probably to do with Crisis. Now if you look at Superman Lois and what they've done with their version of Lex, He's actually a remnant of Crisis from another Earth who has somehow found his way to our Earth, Earth Prime. I would say that it's very likely that this version of zor is from another Earth and they will probably explain it by saying it's to do with Crisis. And I don't think he's the normal version of zor -El. And so if it's the real zor from our universe, how on Earth, how on Earth did he survive? That would be a huge red flag, seeing him come back being like, Kara, I miss you for all these many years. And so we're like, hmm, there is something else going on here. And I really don't think this is the real zor -El. I think this zor -El is going to be a great welcoming for Kara. She's going to be completely over the moon, but I think it's going to bite her in the back. So another question we have to ask, is he going to be a villain? Now, why do I say he could be a villain? Because he's supposed to be Kara's father, right? He's supposed to be zor -El this good guy who helped Kara escape Krypton, so why on earth would he be a villain? Well, episode 1 is titled Rebirth. We've talked about this theory before, but I'm going to reiterate it here. So in Supergirl Rebirth, the recent relaunch in 2016 in the comics, Supergirl Rebirth started off and zor -El was the main villain of the first major story arc. So now we have the confirmation that zor -El is going to be showing up in episode 2, most likely he's probably going to show up in the cliffhanger at the end of episode 1. It's definitely not a coincidence that they titled episode 1 Rebirth. Now I think that is very obvious that something more is going on with zor -El, and also mainly just because how on earth did he survive? He's supposed to be dead, right? So there is something definitely going on. So I've got a feeling they might do a Jay Garrick slash Hunter Zolomon on Kara and Team Supergirl. So I have a feeling that zor -El is going to be an ally first and then he's going to do that twist like they did in The Flash with Zoom. And at one point he's going to betray the team and reveal his real identity as this alternate evil version of zor -El. I think this is very likely because Kara is going to welcome zor -El or any version of her father with complete open arms. No way would she say go away or something because if you think you've lost someone and then they come back, you're not going to reject them. You're going to be like, I miss you so much. And Supergirl is never going to question that. So I really do think that Team Supergirl and the people surrounding Kara are going to be the ones to find out about zor -El if he turns out to be a villain because I think Kara is going to be blind to that. So those are some of my theories. Obviously, the theories to do with zor -El being a villain is just me theorizing. However, we do know 100% zor -El is going to be showing up in episode 2, but I really don't think it's a coincidence that episode 1 is titled Rebirth and in Supergirl Rebirth in the comics, 
Zor-El is the main villain of Supergirl's comics. So, yeah, crazy times. So much exciting stuff that is going to be happening. Remember, Supergirl is coming back March 30th. That is in four days' time from when this video goes up. But just before we end this video, we're going to go ahead and break down this new synopsis that they released. This is titled Phantom Menaces. Obviously, that's a reference to Star Wars The Phantom Menace. And so, this is how it goes. This is for episode 3, which is airing the 13th of April. Okay, Battle of the Wits. Supergirl makes a new ally. Lena and Lex battle for control of Lufacor. So now this is a very short synopsis, but it does confirm something big. That being that John Cryer is going to be showing up in more than just episode 1 and 2. So we haven't been sure about that. We have the official confirmation he's going to be showing up in 1 and 2. We knew that from the synopsis. Also the casting list that I read out earlier said that he's in both episodes. But this new synopsis for episode 3 confirms Lex is still going to be around and he's still going to be dueling it off with Lena in episode 3 for control of Luther Corp. So it seems like Lex is changing his plans rather than trying to defeat Supergirl, he's going after Lena and what used to be his. And the synopsis says Battle of the Wit, so it's going to be Lena trying to outwit Lex and Lex trying to outwit Lena to get control of it because obviously Lex has some sort of stake in the company, but Lena is the current person in charge. And at the same time as all of this, Supergirl makes a new ally, and I believe her new ally is probably Silas, who gets introduced in episode 2, played by Claude Nelton. Also, it could be referring to Zorel, played by Jason Bear. However, I'm going to say it's Silas, because in the description they released, with the official casting announcement that Claude Knowlton would be coming to the show. Obviously, they didn't confirm he would be Silas. We confirmed that in this video. It talks about him being a new alien ally to Team Supergirl, and so I think Supergirl is going to be relying on him for some stuff this season. Also, probably Zoro as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. Also remember guys, my Superman Lois review came out yesterday, along with my last episode of the Flash review and my trailer breakdown, so go check them out if you haven't checked them out already. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.